Hello and welcome to the next tutorial episode from our series here on our YouTube channel. Yeah, you see I have opened here the item creator icon maker. What is it? Uh, that is a yeah, free asset uh, from Avian. You see it here. This guy here have created an icon maker and that is really, really cool. You see here some picture of it and you can download it. Here I will put this link in the description and I think I will upload this um, yeah, to um, share service so you can download. I make a Myra link for this. And what is it? Let's, let's see us. This can help us very good. So at the first we have here the icon maker root. That is a icon creator scene here from Avon. And yeah, going here on the play. So uh, I maximize this. And you see, I have here put this gas mask in. We have here some settings. And um, here, object to be shot. Here, I have press one or size of one, the value one. And I have take here the gas mask. It is the same gas mask what we are using here in Z. Here, this is this. And yeah, you going on play mode. So uh, I maximize it. So, and you see here we have the resolution. So you can setting up what resolution you will get it. You can switch when you have more item, the next item and so on. The root direction here I have put as it and the custom direction that is um, yeah, my folder from this here. Um, here from this, yeah. And you can put it in, control V, put it in. Then is a name here of our gas mask. And now let's take a look how we can make this icon. So at the first with the mouse um, screen wheel, we can zoom in and zoom out and hold the left mouse button. And then you see I can rotate it. So let me rotate this. I think that is a good position. That looks good. And uh, I will make it a little upper. So we have here the offset item YY. So we can make it here. So a little. And then you can see we can move it a little here around. But I think that's good. And we have here for the light rotation, we can set up the light. So, but I think that's okay. So, okay. And then we go in here, make icon. Uh, press one. So, and you see here, that is our icon, what we are creating. So I put this here on as it, and here is my icon. So I set it up to sprite and make apply, and then I have it. Yeah, that is our icon. So I close this, don't save. I going here, we close this, and you see here we have event pro docs. The link is in the description from the video. So we will create, or what we will are doing in this video, we will create a gas mask here for equipment in our inventory at first. The next is we have a bug here in the last video on a danger zone. Nobody have found it, nobody have seen it, but you can see the problem is when I press play. So we're going in this and we have the gas mask on. That's okay. We get no damage. That is what we are creating in the last. But when I now in this danger zone and I set here the gas, not the gas cube, the gas mask off, you see we get no damage. And when I go out the danger zone and go in, we get the damage, yes. So that is what we are fixed. Um, let us see what is the problem here. So we have here the damage and the no damage. That is what we are creating in the last video. And we see here no damage have only the trigger event. And 
for this we need find game object and game object is visible and we make here um, take this and this copy this and we passed it here yeah so and when it falls he get damage so and we make a test for it so we are here in our danger zone now we are here that's okay and now we set gas mask off and you see we get damage yeah okay so we save it so then we will create the gas mask for equipment for this we go into inventory pro in the main editor here and we have here our gas mask that is what we are creating and we can put here our icon in it that is our new icon so we have equipment type that is all what we are doing in the last video so let me see for here to ui we're going canvas and inventory pro and we're looking for the inventory window we have here uh, the collection populator our little sheet tool so we're looking for item db the items here and we have here the item gas mask so going back to inventory so going to our populator and we put here the item gas mask to it and we set one at the first yeah so let's see so and here make it bigger here is our item what we are have creating with the item creator and here is our gas mask okay so now we're going to the character window and we're going to the main page we have here the container we have here the item mask and at first we have here setting up that was all what we are setting up in the last tutorial so we can clear this fix it later in the next videos so and we can put it here that is our mask and you see we have the mask on and when i put it back here the mask is off the problem at the moment what we are have is um we have the the mask equipped every time yeah so that is what we are the changing now so for this we going here to correct the window and looking for proxy item collection event playmaker uh, no not this so let me see here on my file so we need item collection event proxy for this that and we need here he question asked for fsm so we create a fsm here on a character window um char proxy okay and then hold the left mouse key and put it here yeah so let's see here so we have nothing here and for this we have here, I have created here a array list proxy. That is what we are creating in the next steps. But let us see here what we have here. You see inventory pro on add item and on remove it item. So what is it? We have here inventory pro docs and we have here events and events variables. And yeah, so and then added an item edit the item on um, the slot what we are creating here yeah that is the first what we need so you can 
uh, selects it. I put the link in the description. We copy this. Uh, going back here, and we create this event as global. And then we need when remove it from the slot, then we need this. Yeah. So at event. Okay, that is uh, this two uh, events is what we are needed here. So then on edit item and on remove it item. So this uh, this to what we need. So let us see what will do is for us. So make play and you see we are here in a start. That's right. So now I going open the inventory and I put it here. So let me see. Uh, something goes wrong. What's wrong here? Okay. So that's it, that's it. I think we make it not uh, global. So, okay, ah, I understand we need the variables for us. So, and the variables on it is the inventory pro event item. Yeah, that is uh, here, this. And we copy this and we create a variable and we put it here in it and that is not a flute that is a object then we're going here use um dev doc inventory pro and inventory item base that is what we are need so And you see that is the gas mask here, the value of it. And he have equipped this. And now I press it back here. Then it's back here, okay. Um, that is the inventory item, what we are see here. Um, and for now, we will create here um, the Playmaker Aerialist Proxy. That is for game objects, that is will our item catalog, yeah. So, that's here, and we give it um, the name here, item catalog, that will our yeah, item catalog for it. And we have here Playmaker events. Um, that is at the moment uh, not important for us. Yeah, it's disabled. Then we need a game object. That's right. And here I we put uh, 99 save. Uh, when we have more items or so on for it, um, then we can make live update. Uh, then we can change it. So let's go in here to the gas mask. And that is what we are creating. And we see here the ID is one. Yeah, that is important for us. So, and we have here on the 99 items, we have here for one, and we're going here to the gas mask and put it here in item one. Yes, item one here, gas mask. So, what is the idea? The idea is we will looking uh, from the, we will looking the inventory ID, what is here on edit item or on remove it later and when we see the id is for the gas mask one we're going to the playmaker array and find here the gas mask with the item one and we put it uh, on our character yeah so we disable this for the moment and here you see i have created this get item id fsm object that is the first what we will uh, do get id fsm object yeah so for this 
we need here the event item that is the variable what we are creating here and for now we will um, save this as new variable item id catalog yeah this is this is uh, the variable what we are the saving here let me see here um here item catalog that will yeah so let's take a test so we have here the gas mask i put it on and you see here the item gas mask is the event item and the item id catalog is result i the id is one yeah that is here the id is one okay so that's it um category that is not what we are in need for the moment um we can create a integer compare so integer that are here the results are integers variables so for this we going item id catalog yeah um or we make it other we can remove it or we can a realist get so array list get that's here so the use owner that is what we um, have here that is the use owner is this year this is the component the reference is the item catalog yeah. and at index will be the item id from the catalog um, the type is the game object and the result we make a new variable is a game object so and then we will activate this game object. So move the action to the button here. A specific game object, game object what we are here and is active, yeah. And yeah, so we cleared, let's see. So we put the gas mask on and you see I have the gas mask on my character. So what we are have doing here, we have created the event that is the Playmaker event here from Inventory Pro. We have created the variable, the object variable here, the inventory item base. Then we get the item ID from this variable what we here creating and result is as a integer variable as the name item id catalog you can put here this name whatever you want but not here this must the same like this from here and then we going to our array list from our item catalog here and say the type is game object that's here and the result is as game object or we can take a better name equip item so equip item and then we will active this item from here activate here yeah so but for now we must see um Oh, we can setting up this uh, for when he uh, yeah when he set this uh, not longer um, copy this past here then we going 
here, past this, and then we copy this, past here, and set not more uh, activate. So let me see. So put it on, works fine, and put it off, works fine too. Yeah, and here's the same. He is the same. He gets he looking uh, what item is removing from the slots, and you see that it's the gas mask. Okay, um, the ID um, from the gas mask from the item uh, ID is one. He looking in it in the catalog what we are have creating here. He found ah uh, it's gas mask. Okay, and he will activate it here or deactivate it and we have no longer the gas mask on it yeah so and when we are going here in our danger zone we put it we get no more damage on it and when i put it off i get damage i go off so that is our first item that is how we can equip items on the character yeah with Inventory Pro and with Playmaker and with Ares. Yeah. Um, the next, in the next video, we will creating um, the weapons system. We're starting with the Ripple uh, weapons. And <clears throat> yeah, let take me some words for equipment. Um, you can equip items on your character when you have a helm or a gas mask all items what not are need a rig uh, that can be easy and work with this system here but what is when you are say i will put a, a ever uh, other uh, pants here on that or when we are will putting gloves on it or something for this you need um a good uh character model uh, I found only two models on the asset store modular uh, on the asset store the first uh, is the rebels um, that will work and the other is from the synthi store the uh, fantasy modular uh, characters but the problem is that it's for fantasy but you have all uh, items uh, for torso and uh, for pants and for shoes and hands uh, on one um, yeah on one model here so and you see here in this when we are looking um, this player model we have only here the biker male uh, the business female and the problem here is you see uh, he have other texture uh, that is what we are must uh, changing when we are using this pants or something or this this is a complete yeah, this is a complete pants and so on yeah that can be a problem uh, so for this you can only uh, changing this items here what we are have here under yeah so and we must change for this uh, the texture here you see uh, the skin type looks uh, like difference here he uh, look much darker we have here other mat material as uh, here this guy now you see here three and you see here the one and yeah but we can use this clothes here or what we are having yeah that is what we are can doing uh, other problem is when we are looking here for the islander so he have other proportion now that looks much different when he is uh small and then he is uh, or skinny and he is fat so i think that is not so usable but he have cool tattoo yeah, and we have here females that is the same, we cannot use this or here. Oh, yeah. We can only use the male when we are using a male guy. But we can later this uh, items. Um, we will 
make he can change the full clothes yeah with the full clothes uh, that all what he have here the full clothes will changing yeah that is in the other slot so we will not change the um the t-shirt or the pants yeah and for this we have not the models that is a problem yeah uh, I hope sometimes uh, for Sinti he will create for this uh, post apocalypse um, yeah, asset uh, like the same like what a fantasy. But I see in the next we get from Sinti a car pack for car racing. Yeah, okay. Then I have seen uh, sci fi tanks will come. That's okay. But yeah, that is a problem. Uh, what we are having yeah you, uh, when you are good um, in blender you can bring all stuffs from Zunti uh, on one skeleton um, but that uh, yeah need good experience in blender and that is what i have not for the moment so but for us for our little uh, testing here scene uh, it's okay so and when you have your own models uh, you must put all all this here like this and Sinti under one object with a root and this root uh, the bones of this root must also rig of this uh, clothes on the asset store I found only two assets the first is it from Sinti what I tell you and the other is from is rebels and uh, other stuff from this guy he have created uh, rebels that is modular that uh, can be useful but beware by the rebels uh, i have seen the rig uh, bring problems some people uh, have writing the rig bring problems uh, i have testing out it and i see the shoulder when he are uh, working with the rifle or with uh, the pistol or other weapons uh, with stretching here it's only from uh, maya rig uh, component it's not so good but yeah, that is from my side. That is this. In the next vi uh, video, we starting with our weapon system, creating weapon system. That will, uh, yeah, think we will creating here in the animator uh, for our guy here. Um, yeah, a new uh, substate for weapons and for uh, rival create then some layers for it uh, for the upper body and so on and for this i'm using the rifle pack uh, and the crouch uh, rifle pack from kubalt um yeah i have seen some people are using uh, from exiamo but i think that's not so uh yeah looks not so good uh, when you have not so many money and you were saving money that is what i have tell um, using a vector template you have a third person controller with all uh, what you need in it and yeah okay that's from my side i hope that helps you you have learning in this how you can bring uh, a gas mask or you can the same like the, the helm on it uh, you have see how you can create uh, icons for your guy here or for your items so that is from um, my side. I save it here and yeah, I'm out. See you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.